What's up guys, I would like to show you this error dime. This is 1968 Roosevelt time at about uncirculated condition. Briefly circulated coin with strong trace of mint luster. Mint mark D indicates that it was issued by Denver Mint. Device elements are mostly well struck, except the numeral 8 is a little bit distorted. Hills display numerous polish lines. Main distraction is this pretty large dye chip on the nose. Little disclaimer, I'm not expert in dye errors, so if you know the exact name of this type of error, feel free to share it with us on comment section below this video. Reverse strike displays sharply detailed device elements. It very much looks like full bands variety, I closely inspected it and upper and lower bands separate as far as I can tell. Over 480 million Roosevelt towns were struck in 1968 in Denver. They are in abundance at circulated grades. 1968 dime becomes worth more than its face value at uncirculated grades with full bands on the torch. At midst day 66 they are worth $22, at midst day 67 $90 and at Miss Day 68 $800. The finest specimen at Miss Day 68 was sold in 2021 in an eBay auction. It ended up selling for $1,495. But other than business track, there is one rare proof variant of 1968 dimes that commands strong premiums at auctions. The first proof coin struck by United States Mint without containing the S Mint mark, which stands for San Francisco Mint. There are only a few dozen examples known in all grades combined, making it an extremely scarce coin. This is one of the finest no S Roosevelt times among non cameo proof 10 cents. Very pretty gem that's virtually perfect in every way. It is a major modern rarity. It ended up selling for $29,375 at legend rare coin auctions.